higher. It's finally time to spray this. I've got a little bit of filling to do, the screw holes. I've taken it to the job, fitted it, had to scribe this back. I don't know whether you can see, that's got a curve in it. So I took it to the job and scribed it. I added this. So a lot of the ones on the internet have got them. Don't like that. But I tried half a dozen different shapes and so that's the one. We'll see. So I'm gonna do first. Just fill these holes, fill these big holes. But what will happen is when I put the first coat of primer on, which I'll thin down a bit, that'll soak into the wood. And this wood's dry and powdery. It'll make, it'll soak in and all the fibres of the wood will stand up and become prickly. So I'll have to sand it all back smooth, even if I'm sanding off the paint again, but it'll have prepared the wood, the fibres of the wood, and the next coat then will go on smoother. That's the prep layer. There's all sorts of sanding sealers on the market that you can put on first, but I find the best is just to use the paint that you're going with, thin down your first coat. You know that all your layers after that will will adhere to it, no problem. You won't get any reaction between the two different types of paints or sealers or anything like that. The first coat is one of the most important ones. And also, I put the white primer on, it'll show up any little cracks or marks you see there's a little gap down there that'll show up any marks in knots there's a tiny little dent there I'll have to sort out but yeah the first coat will show up any marks so it'll be filling then there'll be a second coat and maybe even a third coat a primer and you want the third coat to be as smooth and as perfect as you want the final coat of colour that you put on later the top coat so I'll get this filled get them screw holes filled get some primer on right. got a two part filler you want a piece of wood or a board that's it's not just wood because that will soak in the filler the filler will soak in you want this is a piece of painted board so I'll go read the instructions whatever yours says this is a pea size the more you this you put in the faster it'll go off. I want it to go off quite fast, so I'm going to be generous. Mix it well in. Right, filled the screw holes, put a little bit in that knot, a little bit in the pin holes there, 
but I've also smeared some into the end grain here so I've learned that once you spray it you'll see all the end grain there and I want it fairly smooth we'll let that dry sand it off and then put some primer on This is a 10 to 1 mix. I'm going to thin it down. I prefer to put more thin coats on than one thick coat. I feel you get a better finish that way. Right, I've sanded this, sanded the filler off the top, sanded these fronts smooth, and blown the dust off, sanded that, forgot to sand that. come to spray this you always want to start spraying off the work and then onto it this has got lots of inside corners tempting to spray like that but you'll end up with double in the corner there you'll get a run so I think I'm going to spray around like that on the face, across the front. If I don't think there's enough in there, by the time I get round to the end again, I'll come back and maybe spray that way, on and off. On the inside here, same again, you don't want to be spraying in like that. I'll spray around and off. Try not to pause as you as you go around the corner otherwise you'll get a build up again same with this front I'll come into it across and then feather off same on the front start away from you wood spray across and spray off let's see if I can put you somewhere where you can see I'm a joiner by the way not a painter so I'm only sharing what I've learnt.
Right, it's been an hour or so. Paint's completely dry. Like I say, it's gone prickly, especially on this end grain. And the white paint's showing up any imperfections. There's a little bit in the knot there. That's okay, I think that'll pass. You see there's a split in the wood there, didn't see that before. That's okay. See that gap there, I'm going to fill that. There's a little gap down there. That needs filling. It's a bit rough there, and give that a sand. A little gap there, and there's, if I can get it in the right light, there's a line there, I think that's from the planer, I sanded it off here, but I missed that, and that's what the white paint does for you, shows up any imperfections. Top of this, it's looking good, there's a little mark there where you can see the filler showing through. Oh, that looks good. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time, fill this, make it perfect, let that dry, give it a sand, and we'll give it another coat. Right, sanded it smooth with 120 paper. You can see some of the paint won't completely dry, an old one of them, and piece of sandpaper wherever it is but you can see I've gone through some of the layers of paint I've gone through some of the paint here and there but it's smooth again filled up there sanded them off sanded that smooth see I've just caught the edge of that I'm not worried about that though. That first coat's done what it's supposed to do. Now I'll put a second coat on and that'll tell me if if I've missed anything. Right, that's the second coat dry. It's a lot smoother. It's a bit rough on the edge of that MDF there. I'll give that a sand. But it's looking. You know, right. It's cold in here, but it's dried. I've got a fan heater blowing there, and there's a fan up there blowing on it. That increases the drying time quite a lot. End grain there needs a bit of a sand. I'll go over it with 320 now, give it another coat of primer. Quite a lot in there, so I might even give it a fourth coat, we'll see. 
can't put it back in the tin because it's a two part paint mix too much but never mind I'm going to skip filming spraying this so you get the idea right it's next day it got about four coats last night that's it filled and sanded between each coat all the little gaps have been filled I've gone over it with 320 paper just to remove any nibbles and wiped it down with a microfiber cloth whatever get most of the dust off and blown it down with the air, airline it's time to get some top coat on same procedure starting off you would I'm gonna put three coats on I think three thin coats maybe give it a rub down in between each coat I'll see if there's any little nibbles or not but that's it like I say you want this coat this final primer coat to be as good as your last coat because any marks now will show through all the way right to the end so this is it make sure this is perfect and go for it That's it, it got three or four coats last night. I should really leave it for 36 hours to cure properly, but it's got to go today, so it's going. All right, there's the screws. Screws. It's going there. Um, 